During our initial meeting over a cup of tea, we were immediately struck by Jess's compassion, wisdom, and eloquent articulation. We came here with gifts to, to share with others. We came here with medicine for others. And that we don't even know what we're going to do. It's going to touch another person and change their life. When Jess was very, very young, she experienced sexual assault. The realization of what happened, that was a long process. Because, um, um, and I think a lot of people go through this, there's this denial of this can't have happened, this can't possibly have happened. While it was by no means an easy journey, Jess has come to a place of acceptance and awareness of the value of her gifts and perspectives in the world. Okay, it happened, but what I got from it was really much more important. You know, really knowing who I am and why I'm here and, and um, how, to, how to help somebody to move from that place to being in the world in a really healthy, vibrant way. So. She credits the deep connection that she created with her therapist with helping her through some of her more difficult times of realization, processing, and healing. A lot of the work that I did with him was about um, mattering, that I mattered enough to, to be able to cry for myself, to have compassion for myself, to um, be willing to open myself up to other people, trusting that I would be seen um, for who I was instead of the story. You get to a place sometimes where the, the emotional pain is a very physical, real ache, tremendously painful place. And I knew that if I wasn't going to kill myself, then I would have to figure out how to be with that pain. And so I learned how to sit with that. And what I discovered was that because I'd learned how to do that with myself, I could do that with anybody. Jess, who began her professional life as a software engineer with Apple, shifted the direction of her path towards healing and empowerment of others after having experienced firsthand the challenges that people with mental illnesses face in our society. I guess in, instead of a mental health advocate, I'm more of a people advocate, you know? <laughs> I want people to see how amazing they are, you know, because we're all amazing beings and unique beings. It's just amazing. <laughs> Who we are is this mosaic of all the things that have happened to us and our gifts and why we're here and all of these things. And if you really look at um, schizophrenia or PTSD or whatever, it's, it colors the picture, obviously. It colors the mosaic, but there's also other colors. And what I wanted to do was to create an environment that where people could come in and be seen for who they were, not for their diagnosis, not for, oh, you were sexually abused, or, oh, you, were, you have schizophrenia, or, you know, whatever. It's like, okay, yes, you have that, and this is what I see as well, and you are part of this community. Jess has since devoted her life to discovering and sharing her many natural gifts and to helping others discover theirs. A lot of what we need, a lot of what everybody needs, is to find out what are your gifts? Why are you here? You know, and, and probably the most nurturing thing to ever have happen is to have somebody say to you, this is what I see in you. This is what you bring to my life. Jess's ability to connect with those around her and find powerful gifts that every being has to offer extends into the natural world that surrounds us. We notice things because those things want our attention. And so when you see the world in that way, it's like everything is talking to us. Everything. And a lot of times it's just, you know, hi, how you doing? And sometimes it's much, much deeper and it's kind of shocking. It's like, oh, <laughs> you know, you're having a whole conversation with a rock. You know, but not everybody does that, but that's just kind of the way I operate. But, so one of the things I like to do when I was at the, at the Empowerment Center was just tell people about, you know, widening, widening their view of their world, you know, really listening to animals, really listening to trees, listening to the wind, listening to the rain, noticing what's happening around you. Um, 
it gives it gives a different perspective on, on who we are because then we're not just anchored to the city, we're anchored to the land. Because the land, this earth is really important to us. We we need her and she needs us. The process of getting to know Jess and having the distinct privilege of interviewing her has been profound and consistently enlightening. Her perspectives on healing and trauma recovery are abound with empathy, understanding, and astute observations. We are honored to present this snippet of the beautiful and powerful journey of Jessica Wolfe.